Hi, my name is Alex Wolford, and I was just asked how StreamSets goes about uh, management of pipelines, and do we integrate with version control or continuous integration, so that sort of thing. So I thought I'd uh, cover that really quickly. And so the first thing uh, that's worth um, doing is um, wherever you have um, something that might change between maybe between one environment and an another. Um, you want to create parameters for those things. So this is data collector. If I click on the canvas here, there is a parameters section. So I'm going to create parameters for a MySQL user. So I'm going to, uh, these are key value pairs. So I have a password, MySQL password, bananas, and uh, we'll have a MySQL host. And uh, this will be MySQL uh, dev in this case. And so I'm going to go into my JDBC producer here and I'm going to substitute these with uh, variables. So if I put a uh, dollar sign and curly braces that means I can insert a variable. And So in this case I'm going to put MySQL host in here. I'm going to go to the credentials and do the, the same thing and you'll see that it um, will uh, help me avoid typos uh, by auto-completing. Uh, MySQL, MySQL password right there. Okay, very good. All right, so um, now I have parameterized this um, pipeline. I can export it and then import it into Control Hub. So I have an export for Control Hub option here. Um, you can see that you know here's my my JSON object, and I'm going to import this into the pipeline repository. In Control Hub, so I click on Pipeline Repository. I'm going to find this uh, file that I just uh, exported. I need a commit message. This is just like uh, Source Control, um, uh, and um, so I can see here is my parameterized uh, pipeline. Now I can create a job from this pipeline, and uh, the the important thing here is look. If I wanted to run this on nodes that have been tagged for production, for example. I can set this data collector label, and then um, these parameters. I can I can import those and overwrite them. So if I had a production environment here, maybe I could say production, and it's like a, a different password, something like that. And then I can create a job um, and use the same pipeline in. Um, dev and production. Um, one thing I, I think is worth pointing out is um, if you use the pipeline manager to, to um, track your, your pipelines uh, rather than like uh, Git or something like that, it's really easy to see what changed. Um, so if I take a pipeline with a couple of different versions, let's say we have this Kafka IoT uh, pipeline here, there's this button compare with previous versions and you can put them side by side and it will show you what changed. So let's say I want to compare the initial one with the, the most recent one. Any, any change there will be a, a, a red indicator to show you what changed. So in this case um, I can put them side by side and I can see that you know my local host was, no, sorry, my broker URI was localhost 1992 and that now I have my um, proper um, Cloudera um, uh, broker URI and also the topic has changed for example. Um, so there's a couple of other things that I think are worth noting here. Um, to tie into external systems we have something called subscriptions. So I'm going to take a, a quick look. I have a, a pipeline commit subscription. There are subscriptions for different things, like if a job changes state, or uh, you can set up SLAs um, and uh, you know get reports um, for you know number of records processed, how many errors there were, that sort of thing. But anyway, this pipeline committed is uh, when someone makes a change to a pipeline. And so inside here. Um, you can see that we have these moustache uh, double quotes um, and uh, put variables and I can, I can hit a web endpoint. So I have a Slack channel that I set up here so anytime a, a pipeline is uh, committed um, then I, I get a Slack message. Um, so you can also send emails here. Um, so there's something that I think is worth uh, noting about um, if I make a change to a pipeline. So let's say I have 
a job that's running a pipeline. So I'm just going to check the jobs really quickly and find a pipeline. Uh, okay, here's an example of one actually. This um, this um, splat thing here it says new pipeline a version is available. So if someone changes a pipeline and, and updates it, you can look at the jobs that are running and um, you can. Uh, you, you get a visual indicator and if I wanted to update this I would just click on the splat and uh, click uh, update and now my pipeline uh, has been updated I'm now running uh, version 1. Um, there's a couple of uh, ways um, of interacting with this from systems outside of Control Hub um, and I, th I think they're worth a mention. So the first one is that we have APIs for everything. So we have this RESTful API, we have a Swagger style interface, and this is both for Control Hub and Data Collector. Um, so anything you want to do in the UI, you can do um, via API. Helps you uh, integrate with other systems. And the other thing that I think is worth mentioning is that we have a Python SDK. And so this allows you to build pipelines programmatically. So if you were going to iterate, iteratively test something, uh, this is this is how you might go about it. Um, so um, you know, there's some documentation here. I have an example running uh, right here. So let's go to presentation mode, and I will uh, walk you through it really quickly. So we're importing the uh, SDK. Um, we we connecting to a data collector and then we are going to build a uh, pipeline so that in this case it has an origin which is a Kafka consumer and a destination which is trash and then we use the double greater than to link them together and then um, when we run this um, this will create a pipeline inside of uh, data collector so let's uh, come out of the uh, presentation mode uh, run this and we'll hop back over takes a second. We'll hop back over into our uh, data collector instance here and we'll see this is the pipeline created a few seconds ago. Um, and so that is uh, what I wanted to cover about continuous integration and how to manage uh, pipelines. Thanks very much for watching.